Dear chartered accountants, working professionals and students in the domains of Indian auditing, accounting and the tax and regulatory space, welcome to podcast of FCA Deepak Rao, a practicing chartered accountant. Daily news and updates for 7th September 2023. Income tax department has started sending intimations to salary taxpayers whose deductions are not in sync with form 16 this is part of the income tax department's efforts to crack down on tax evasion income tax department has advised taxpayers to verify the validation status of their bank account on the e-filing portal this is because only validated bank accounts can be used to receive income tax refunds There is a new GST e-way bill update regarding the HSN court requirements. Effective October 1, 2023, taxpayers with an aggregate annual turnover of rupees 5 crore or more will be required to use at least a six-digit HSN code in their e-invoices and e-way bills. Taxpayers with an aggregate annual turnover of less than rupees 5 crore will still be required to use at least a four-digit HSN code. The income tax department is committed to process the income tax returns in a speedy and efficient manner. As on 5th September 2023, 6.98 crore income tax returns for assessment year 2324 were filed, out of which 6.84 crore income tax returns have been verified. More than 6 crore income tax returns of assessment year 2324 have been processed out of the verified income tax returns as on 5th September 2023 resulting in a processing of over 88% of the verified income tax returns more than 2.45 crore refunds for assessment year 2324 have already been issued the department's efforts to provide seamless and expeditious taxpayer services are being continuously strengthened in line with the same average processing time of income tax returns after verification has been reduced to 10 days for returns filed for assessment year 2324 compared to 82 days for assessment year 2019-20 and 16 days for assessment year 2223 the government has notified an amendment to the prevention of money laundering maintenance and records rules 2005 as per the amended norms the beneficial owner of the partnership firm shall be considered as the natural person who has ownership of or entitlement to more than 10% which is reduced from previous 15% of the capital or profits of the partnership further the principal office as per rule 2f shall not hold a position below that of an officer at the management level chinese automaker saic motor corp is weighing multiple options to partner an indian company for expanding its presence in the growing automobile market talks between saic the parent of mg motor india private limited and one of the potential indian investors are likely to conclude in a few months saic search for local partners to continue its car business in india comes as chinese companies face increased scrutiny from the indian government due to ongoing geopolitical tensions between New Delhi and Beijing following a deadly border clash in June 2020 The worst of the layoffs at Indian startups may be over but companies are continuing with various belt tightening measures to cut employee costs leading to either voluntary attrition or silent layoffs amid the continuing funding crisis and a strong focus to achieve profitability putting more people on performance improvement plans setting unrealistic targets to be met in a short period freezing hikes and variable pay as well as creating pressure in the form of extended office hours and compulsory work from office are some of the measures that companies are adopting to ease people out Google has unveiled a fresh redesign for its Android brand opting for a capital A instead of the previous all lower case styling and introduced a 3D avatar for the bug droid logo this overhaul not only abandons the lower case format for android but also imbues the android logo with more prominence by capitalizing the a aligning it more closely with the google's own logo
This podcast is sponsored by Sound of CA. We share because we care. Vande Mataram, Jai Hind.